Hi, I'm Pastor Peter from Sweden. It has been said, every house has a builder. And that is true also of this house. Although this one is not in great shape. This shows us something. No matter how great the builder is, every house also needs to be preserved. It needs upkeep. When you leave it to nature and time to take its toll, then it's going to break down. I think this one actually, there's been a small fire, it looks like, from some of the logs. The house needs upkeep protection and preservation. But this is also true about creation, about all the other things that we see among us, things that we haven't really created as humans. Nature, space, the sun, and so forth and so on. We can read in the Bible that God created all things through his almighty word. But that's not all. He didn't just create the universe and maybe leave a spark so that life could spring forth and then develop and evolve, evolve during millions and billions and trillions of years. But he actually set everything in place and then continued to preserve it to this day. When we hear about global warming, we may get frightened, worried, and that's both good and bad. It's good because it's a warning sign that we are using too much of nature's resources and not giving enough back. But it's also unnecessary because everything rests in the hands of God. He who upholds his creation, who preserves his creation, who makes the sun rise every morning, although we know it's not really the sun rising, but rather the earth turning so that we can see the sun each morning. Every house has a builder, but every house needs also a preserver. God is the preserver of life. He's the one who upholds your life as well. He's the one who makes sure that you have food to eat and maybe a roof above your head and hopefully a better roof than this one. When we turn to God, we can thank him for his beautiful creation, but we can also thank him for the fact that he preserves his creation so that it doesn't break down in this way. And we can trust in his promises that this planet and nature won't break down completely before his son returns. If you want to get to know your creator and preserver better, study the Bible, why not study with us at tellnetwork.org. Thanks for spending time with me today and God bless your day. Bye now.